I'll give you to the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animals, <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Hello everyone, this is Edwin Ghostbusters and Lego Movie Fan 2003, and today I'm going to review on Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Came out the year 1992, so base what the plot is. It takes place one year after the first Home Alone movie left off. Kevin and his family goes to the airport to Florida, but Kevin went to the wrong plane. Then later all of Kevin's family arrived at Florida, then Kevin's mom is surprised that her son is missing again. Kevin is in New York City, he got his dad's credit card and he go to the fancy hotel. Then the next day, Kevin goes to the toy store, then Marv and Harry returns and gets revenge on Kevin. Marv and Harry plan is to rob the toy store, so it's up to Kevin to stop those two burglars for robbing the toy store. And that's basically what the plot is. What did I think about this movie? This movie is fun and entertaining, and it's a great sequel. The story is great. Kevin once again, he is a great protagonist. Marv and Harry once again, they are funniest villains in this film. Kevin's family, they are great in this film. The hotel man played by Tim Curry, he is a funny character. Mr. Duncan the toy store man, he is a likable character. The pigeon lady, she is a nice character. Let's talk about my favorite part. My first favorite part is when Tim Curry character and the hotel employees got scared of that TV hearing a gun shooting. That scene is so funny. My second favorite part is Harry head is on fire and he used the toilet and the whole bathroom explodes. That scene is so hilarious. My third favorite part is when Marv got hit by a brick. I laugh really hard on this scene. And all of the booby trap scene are really funny. But do I have any negative about this movie? Nope. No negative. Anyway I give this movie a 10 out of 10. It's a classic brilliant masterpiece. And that's my review on Home Alone 2 Lost in New York.